Hello everyone. League of Legends mid-season update has definitely shaken up the meta with its item and rune changes. Today I'll be talking about a new strategy that has come about from the, some of these changes. The first part is with the new item Yuntal Wall Arrows, which in addition to the stats it provides also inflicts a 2 second bleed to enemies that the wielder has hit with a critical strike. This item has found some struggles in finding a good spot in most builds and is generally only used in cases where there is some broken interaction with uh, frequent micro crits such as with Belvap or, or Aphelios' red gun. However, I'm only going to be focusing on one interaction in particular that this item has with another item, Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver has two passives, the first applying stacking armor reduction to the enemy and the second granting move speed after dealing physical damage to an enemy champion. Both of these passives can work with the bleed from Wild Arrows, which means that applying the bleed can very quickly apply max stacks of carve and grant the bonus movement speed during and for 2 seconds after the last tick of the bleed. Now there is one problem and that is that the bleed for wild arrows is only applied on crit and having these two items is not only expensive but only provides a 25% crit chance. However, there are some champions that innately can gain crit from their kits such as Yasuo, Yone, Chantemir. But the champion I think is actually the best user of this is Senna as she can auto safely from long range. By the time Santa completes these two items, she should have around 65 or 75% crit chance because of her passive. This build only sacrifices a little bit of damage while providing utility for your team. In spots where your team has a lot of physical damage dealers, this may be not only viable but arguably the optimal build in that game. Here is a game showing just that. But real quickly, if you enjoy this content, please support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Anyway, here's the rest of the video. Harass for this little floor. Like, like, too early. Okay, this was just talking for fun. I'm not gonna complain, really, anymore. There. Oh. Oh. I'm good. I was not expecting that to be like that. No, I flashed there either. And hell's 
You wanna walk up? Oh, this one's aggressive enough. They're going for me. Honestly, that's kind of steel. I can keep aggressively positioning so that Lucian can play the game. I'm scaled. Oh, that's not good. They are not respecting. Like, okay, they're comp. Like, they can see all that there. Like, why are they still there if they see Blitzcrank? Oh! That was a bit bad. And then he was there. What is happening? Uh, theirs can't move from there. Uh, I am walking the wrong way. Oh, why are you? Uh, but something snatched me up before I went to and Sam is. Bro, like their whole team is here. Like it, like I don't think she realizes that if I'm not here, she's already dead. Relax, buddy. Did you get 1v1 by Blitzcrank? That bugs too. Oh, 
guess I'll fence a little low. So. I'm, I'm forced to die early. Chance, percent chance to insta shred. That's pretty good. Not tanky enough yet, but by the time they are, that's pretty good. Insta shredded. I can't move or see anything. What? That is beyond cringe. I can't. My ult just came back too. Can I save her? Good hit that. Don't stop the sweet. Oh wait, it was stolen. We rush again. Uh, at you guys is uh, no, no, for me. Yeah, maybe just done. 